Well, the strangest thing happened yesterday at the other campsite, the one I called the ultimate campsite. So I came here. Let me try to explain. So if you saw yesterday's video, it was called the ultimate campground, and that place was the ultimate. And in that video, I mentioned that I was really close to the forest road, and it's a dirt road, and when a car would come by, it would get kind of dusty. Well, right after I uploaded that video, I started noticing car after car after car coming by. I couldn't figure out what was going on, why that dirt road was so heavily trafficked. It was dusting me out. I stopped counting at 100 cars. That is unbelievable on a little dirt forest road. So, I couldn't take it anymore. About 5.30 yesterday evening, I figured I've got a few hours of daylight left. If I'm going to move, I better do it now. So I came up this other road. This is a secondary spur road, about a mile and a half from where I was. And I found this spot. This is a lot like the spot where all the cows are, you know, Sue Ellen and JR and the whole crew. It's a lot like that, except this one, the creek is on the east side of the camp. So I can park with my doors open toward the creek and still get the shade off the van in the afternoon sun. So back to the other site. This is all I can think of that's going on. I think there, there is a road closure somewhere around here. And they're using that forest road as a detour or cut through road. I mean, that's all it could be. I mean, there's no way there should be that many cars on a dirt forest road on a Monday and Tuesday. But this is a good spot. I'm about 100 yards off the road. I've only seen one ATV go by, and that was early this morning, and that's it. So even if the cars do start coming by here, it, it won't be that dusty because I'm so far off the forest road. It's a good site. I mean, it's not nearly as good as the other site that I had to leave, but this was only a mile and a half away, and I got here about 6 p.m. yesterday, and I didn't really set up anything. You know, by that time, the sun was out in that direction. I had enough shade on this side of the van. This is a nice creek. It's not the same as the one at the other campsite, but it's a nice one. Looks like somebody's been stacking stones out there to make a pool. That took a lot of work. But this is about the same elevation, about 6,400 feet. Temperatures are good. It's going to be a high of about 80 today. I don't have to worry about shade on my solar. I've got plenty of sun here. A giant fire pit. That's nice work. I won't be using it, but uh, that's uh, <laughs> one of the largest fire pits I've ever seen. And I'll be here until Friday morning. Then I'll get up early and drive to Logan, Utah to pick up my package and then go find a campsite. And uh, we'll keep it short today. That's it. Just wanted to let you know. It, sometime it sucks, you know. That dusted me out of the ultimate campsite. But, uh, you know, that's the break sometime. See you on the next one. Take care. Be well. Smash the bell. Mm -hmm.